Good morning, grade fives. We are going to discuss capital letters and the use of capital letters in sentences and words today. Please open your textbooks on page 61. Pause the video, find the right place, and then you can start watching the video again. Page 61. Right, let's start discussing capital letters. Now, in every exam paper and test, you will most probably find one question or more than one question about the use of capital letters since it's rather important, especially for the use in formal and informal letter writing. On top of page 61, it simply says capital letters. Now, there are two columns there. Please follow as I read. Um, in that block there on top of page 61, they talk about the uses of capital letters first. And I want to mention the first one there. The first one of a sentence. And they give an example on the right hand side. There are many games. The first word of that sentence is there. So the T is with a capital letter T. You cannot start a, sen a new sentence without using a capital letter. Then people's names and titles. Uh, Tondi Clarsen and Mr. Jones. Please take note. If you say Mr. Jones, then the M in Mr. and the Jane Jones are both capital letters. You can't say Mr. with a small letter and then Jones with a capital letter. They are both written with capital letters. Obviously the names of countries, towns and streets, they give us examples there. Egypt, Durban and Russell Road. Again, take note. If you say Russell Road, then Russell is written with a capital letter and Road is also written with a capital letter. Because they are both, both those words explain the name of the road to us. So you can't only say Russell with a capital letter and Road with a small letter. Especially when you write letters. Next one, languages and nationalities. They give an example, Kosa in Egyptian, where the X and the E are written with a capital letter. The names of days and months, Monday, February, Tuesday, December. Those are the kind of names uh, of uh, days and months that you need to write with a capital letter in a sentence or the beginning of a sentence. Names of organizations, the football association, two words, they are both describing the name of one association. So you need to write both words with a capital letter. Um, at number one there, they say scan page 58 to find the name of three countries. Now you can do that on your own. If you page upon page back, you'll see on page 58, they have a little passage that you can read there. And you'll find the name of three countries there. I found I'll, I'll name one, which will be England. You can go and find the other two yourself. Obviously, the name of a country will always be spelled with a capital letter. At number two, they say, match the words in column A with the reasons in column B. In other words, they say, this is the word. It's written with a capital letter. On the other side, in the other column, it says, this is the reason why we write that word with a capital letter. I'm going to start with the first one there, Canada, on the left-hand side. Now, it's obvious that Canada... You'll see on the right hand side, C is the name of a country. You can write it like that in your books as well. Canada, and then C, name of a country. Nelson Mandela, a person's name. It's numbered A in the block on the right hand side. French would be G, the name of a language. Saturday would be E, the name of a day, like Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Those will all be written with a capital letter. South African Airways would be F, the name of an organization. December, as we said already, would be D, the name of a month. And Gaborone is the name of a city. That would be B. So whenever you, whenever you use one of these words in a paragraph or an essay or a letter, you need to make sure that you use the capital letter in those instances. Otherwise, you lose marks because it counts as a spelling mistake if you don't. I don't want to do the last exercise with you for today, which is number three. Um, what I love about this exercise is that they write whole sentences and you have to fill in the capital letters on your own. I'm going to read 3a to you. My name is Ben Bester and I was born in Berlin in the Eastern Cape. Now take a good look at that sentence. Where would you fill in capital letters? I'm going to give you a few clues. You need to start the sentence with a capital letter so my as in my name that first M there would be a capital letter obviously. Ben Bester that's his name and surname. You need to write that with a capital letter. He was born in Berlin. Berlin is the name of a city. You write it with a capital letter. And in the Eastern Cape. 
Eastern Cape is part, a part of the country, so it's written with capital letters, the E and the C. B. Now I live in Rowe Street in Port Elizabeth. Again, you start with now, it is a capital letter, because it's the beginning of the sentence. Rose Street, remember the rule? You write Rose and Street, both with capital letters. You can't only write Rose with a capital letter and Street with a small letter, especially when you write uh, letters. Port Elizabeth, in the name of a city, so obviously Port and Elizabeth will both be with capital letters. And so you can continue. I just want to finish with E there. One day, I hope to visit Brazil and India. Now remember, some people have a way of writing a whole essay without using capital letters when they start new sentences and without using full stops. So as the reader, I don't know which sentence starts where and which sentence ends where. You need to end your sentences with a full stop and you need to start the next sentence with a capital letter. Um, e. One day. So that one is the beginning of a sentence, capital O. One day I hope to visit Brazil and India. Both those names refer to countries, the name of countries. So Brazil with a capital B and India with a capital I. Please go through this exercise again. Do them in your books. You can also take a look at number four if you like. But for today, I want you to focus on capital letters. Have a good day.